we got some weak weasels that we got on deck. We already know the weak weasels on YouTube. But it's time for us to have a more serious, but we could joke a little bit. We can have fun now. We can tear some jokes up. We can joke like a motherfucker, but we we're gonna laugh. We're gonna laugh real good. We're gonna laugh real good. But we must have some conversation about these weak weasels that are advocating for our community every year, every two years, and then every four years. But then nothing ever changes. And then now the slap in the face of a crack pipe yeah. being pushed to our community. I must say that Joe Biden in this administration is the biggest weak weasels of the 2020. I must say that on record. The first weak weasel we need to address is Joe Biden. The next weak weasels we need to address is all these black super PACs that kicked out family members and got on these airways and disrespect every black person that said it was wrong for him to say, if you ain't black, if you're not black, if you don't vote for me. And made everybody who said something against this white man seem like a coon or a clown. You guys are weak weasels as well. This is sad. Every goddamn time it be niggas on the front line hooting and hollering and shouting and disrespecting other black people, putting on a show for these. Cr Charlemagne said it cracker ass crackers. Putting on a show for them every two to four years, disrespecting their own brothers and sisters. And then when the shit don't go right, Mom is the goddamn word. Shit, I got my money. I bought my six million dollar house. Yeah, Fuck you, niggas. They call the police on you. Yeah, yeah, them niggas. Yeah, yeah, make sure they don't come over here. They turn into fucking Karens. Yeah. So, what the hell is really going on? You got motherfuckers on YouTube investigating me. Lying and making up shit, talking about I'm pulling weapons on my churn. All because bitch ass niggas don't know how to be them while I can be me. Why is he on YouTube? Every goddamn body on YouTube. Kevin Garnett honed down on YouTube. And I'm just a bus, so I'm a, I am should be able to be wherever I want to be. My life is dirt. Oh, I can't talk. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Seems like everybody listening. <laughs> shit. This shit is sad. Who the hell is damn money that keep putting his cash up in this chat? Let me get you up out of here, nigga. Keep putting your cash up up in here. And you hear me? I know you're going to hit the link down. Don't make me send you the link first. Don't make me send you the link first. Because we got to start calling out these districts that's out here hooting and hollering the most. And these districts are the worst neighborhoods that you want to live in. Until, until one key fact. In by the neighborhood ain't worth shit. Right. Right. Once they find out it's ne next to some water, they built most of the projects in all these places and they coming back to claim that shit. They kicking the motherfuckers out to the suburbs first. They wanted to live in the suburbs. So they moved the niggas to certain areas and it's close to downtown. It's close to this place. It's close to. Yeah. So then now people are back working in the cities. So they like, let's kick these niggas back out to the suburbs. We coming back down there so we can shop and go to the waterfront and walk our dogs and shit. So now it's safer for a dog to walk in Brooklyn and Harlem and Cabrini Green than it is for a nigga. Then it is for it's safe anywhere to walk than it is for a nigga because we always fit to this. We got to shave all our hair off our face. We got to cut a head bowl and we got to talk like this. And we got to have a white woman next to us in a shit zoo to look like we don't fit the description. We got to have a white woman in the shit zoo. And I got to wear them skinny ass, tight ass jeans and pull my pants up, hide Steve Urkel, and maybe put some glasses on and shit. Put some Crocs in a fanny pack. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta have imagery. Yeah, they pushing for imagery. So I damn sure can't have no dread. <laughs> Appreciate it. I damn sure can't have no dread. I had to cut this shit bald. I had to shave all the hair off my face, so because I'm dark skinned, so I can't look masculine at all. That hair make it look rough. Yeah, I gotta look like a black monk. Um, I gotta wear sandals that got the uh, bikini strap. <laughs> Or the ones with the double strap across the them come to Jesus sandals and shit. That's a car talking about that's not gonna work. I'm still gonna fit the description. Damn. Shit. Allegedly, I think I snap. I think we snap. It just don't make no sense. We sitting here, only certain niggas got rights. The ones, you know what's you know what's interesting though? The ones that claim. A civil rights is the biggest problem, and this is black and white thing the most. The ones that they get the most protection from white people. They get the most protection from white people. They get to do around here just like white people. They get to say and do whatever about everybody. They get to say whatever about white people. They get to say whatever about black people, and nobody better not say nothing about them or they crazy or they they just snap, they just angry, they just uneducated. So let's drop this link and let's call out your district. I want to put a time limit on people because I know we get long winded and I don't, but I want every.